As Michelle said, I'm James Schaefer and I am out of Rockwall, Texas. I started uh, Delivery Max in 2008, one of the worst recessions we had up until what we're about to experience now. Um, being in IT, I'm not a big public speaker or anything like this, but I'm also a father, a husband, I have an 18-year-old son, a 16-year-old daughter. And my 18-year-old son, after coming home one day with an argument about five weeks ago with a very good friend of his and their parents, they looked at him and they said, Joe, we need to shut down the economy to save everybody, to save your grandparents, to save our kids, and all that. And my son disagreed. And he looked at him, and, and now remember, my son is an All-American uh, captain of the football team going to an elite uh, school in the fall. And he looked at him and he said, I love everybody, but if you shut down the economy, people will lose their jobs. And he said it with, with passion. But he's an 18-year-old kid, and this really close family that he thought loved him, absolutely loved him, no longer allows them to come over to their house, no longer allows to, for them to talk, because he believes different. So he came home to me five weeks ago, knowing that I have a small business, knowing that we've already talked about this, and he said, Dad, I know you're gonna lose your job. He goes, and, he, and he's got tears, a big football player, and he's got tears in his eyes, and he said, who's gonna speak up? And that day on, I said, okay, I'm going to speak up. Yeah. But I wish he was here right now and saw what I see right now because every one of you are speaking up. You are giving us faith. Those of us like me that are, that are business owners and that are watching our revenue just diminish and diminish and diminish, and believe me, mine is. I'm getting ready to tell you a quick story about what is happening to me on a daily basis. But we're seeing this and we're losing faith. We're losing faith in those people that are, that are will speak up for us, yes. will talk loud. We're losing faith in politicians that won't listen to us. Right. Yeah. And I'm glad that we're here and saying our voice, and hopefully they will hear. And hopefully tomorrow, Texas will open up. The last rally that I came to in Dallas, it was a cold, kind of rainy little day, and, and there weren't as many people out here, but they were just as passionate. And it, it gave me energy, it gave me excitement. I told you a story. I got a call, true story, got a call from a great client of mine basically firing me. That, there's no way to, to put it. They said, we can't continue to employ you. We're cutting our cost. And therefore, I lose my cost. And I, I, I appreciated it. Said thank you very much for giving me a call and not just going dark like a lot of my clients have gone dark. But I appreciate you calling and letting me know. But what I told the crowd there was on the way home, I'm gonna have to lay off somebody. And I did. And here's the sad part. That somebody is here today. She's my accountant. She's also my wife. We have zero revenue coming in and have had zero revenue coming in for the last three months. I've been on furlough forever. But now my wife has no income coming in. We got nothing. We've got you though. And we are excited about that. If you're sick, stay home. If you're scared, stay home. But let us go back to work. Yeah.